In 2005, the Federation of Quebec Maple Syrup Producers initiated a series of studies to research the compounds found in Canadian maple syrup and their benefits. To do so, the organization established an international network of scientists renowned for and specialized in various areas of science, especially in the chemistry of natural products and nutrigenomics. We invite you to meet one of these experts and discover the research that she has been entrusted with. My name is Keiko Abe. I'm Professor Emeritus at the University of Tokyo, but continuing to work as a research professor at the Graduate School of Agricultural and Life Sciences. After graduating from Ochanumitsu University in Tokyo, I went to the United States to study at Duke University in North Carolina for four years. When I returned to Japan, I joined the Faculty of Agriculture at the University of Tokyo, working in the Food Chemistry Laboratory. I was then promoted to Associate Professor, then Professor before retiring two years ago. As I mentioned earlier, I'm still involved in research and I'm very happy about that. We like to eat pancakes with maple syrup in Japan. Kids love it. A few years ago, Mrs. Bilan, from the Federation of Quebec Maple Syrup Producers, was visiting Japan and introduced me to a maple syrup dish. The flavors were so elegant and really made the dish stand out. After that, I told my friends to try using maple syrup and I also started using it myself at home. Canadian products have a very natural flavor, which I love. The sensory effect of maple syrup is excellent. I'm interested in its potential health benefits, which can add value to the product. That's why I started working on uncovering its health potential using genomics, a new domain that allows us to comprehensively analyze the gene expression produced by our bodies after eating maple syrup. We believe that maple syrup itself, or one of its compounds like the polyphenols, can contribute to reducing the risk of diabetes, dyslipidemia, which is abnormal fat metabolism, and other lifestyle-related health problems. We have run tests using animals. We gave a group of rats a basic diet consisting of 20% maple syrup for four weeks. We then took liver samples from the rats and compared the observed gene expression to samples taken from a control group of rats that had not been given maple syrup as part of their basic diet. Our analysis showed that the group fed with maple syrup displayed a considerably increased hepatoprotective factor than the control group. We also observed that ammonia-releasing catabolism of amino acids was relatively decreased with the group fed on maple syrup, which could help the liver. Our results have been published. The hepatoprotective effect of maple syrup offers a lot of potential for healthy applications, such as preventing dyslipidemia and diabetes. This effect can be attributed to the polyphenols found in maple syrup. Our current research is focusing on this. I hope to have some encouraging results in the next few years. I tried many different maple products at a sugar shack and I remember saying to myself, this is the taste of pure pleasure. I've been a maple syrup enthusiast ever since.